Zrasvul, Tsitorishi, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another beautiful day lies ahead of our beautiful nation as we continue to make progress, as we continue to develop, and as we continue to prosper. Folks, there is a lot to tackle today, so I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction. As always, if you've been enjoying the series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. I do read through all the comments as well. It just lets me know what y'all are feeling, what y'all would like to see, and how I can improve the experience. So if you've got any opinions, thoughts, anecdotes, stories, anything you'd like to share, feel free to do so. And again, the number of likes and comments is a quick read for me as well to see interest levels. Enough of me rambling. Let's get this party started, shall we? There is a lot to get done. It's actually a little overwhelming how much there is to get done, I'll be completely honest. I was thinking about it before I sat down to record, and actually even yesterday on the lead up to like knowing that I'm going to be recording this today, uh, just like thinking about like, oh man, there's so many moving parts right now, there's so many pieces of the puzzle that need to like lock into place. Um, so it's, it's going to start getting a little uh, hectic for the next couple of sessions as we start tackling our unemployment situation, our uh, housing crisis, as well as our tourism, uh, let's call it situation. It's not a problem. It's not a crisis. It's going, all things considered, uh, rather, um, I always I always want to click here for, for tourism. It, it's going relatively smoothly. Sorry about that. Uh, it's going relatively smoothly. I mean, no one's died yet. We've had a couple of issues here and there as we were figuring out our airport situation. I have received some suggestions with regards to how to like fix this up and get this working how we'd originally intended. Um, we'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, but beyond that as well, I mean, we've got, uh, again, I was hoping to focus on this a fair bit as well last session, but we basically didn't get any any time to do that at all. Uh, and of course, there are a couple of issues with regards to folks uh, driving over to these parking lots and then working at the stadium rather than coming down over here to work at these facilities. So we want to make sure that more cars are coming here sooner, so more people are driving down here sooner, so that more people are going down to uh, to work over here sooner. Because, I mean, we've got a fair number of spots in these parking lots. we got, like, this is 32 each, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's 32. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yeah, we've got 128 Right? Yeah, we got 128 spots over here. Um, 45, 25, 60, 70, 70 plus 7 is 77. 77 plus 8 is 85. 85 plus 10 is 95. So we need 95 people to work this. And we need 25 people to work up over here. So that's 100 and 120, is it? Um, so we've got... Wow, actually, that, that works out very, very, like, very narrowly it works out. So if these parking lots are full, we know we have all the workers we need down over here. So all we need to make sure of is that cars are being delivered up over here. Now, let me take a quick look and make sure, maybe for a little while at least, as tempting as it is to, like, um, to have a, a separate vehicle bring up cars just here specifically, I do wonder if I shouldn't um, just kind of rearrange this one truck as necessary. Like, we're not going to need to deliver cars over here anymore for, you know, basically ever, it feels like. So, A, is that. B, down over here. Uh, where is the car dealer down here? Where are you, buddy? Down over here, right? This guy, okay, we, need, we do need some cars down over here, but it isn't urgent. Like, these guys are able to walk to where they need to go for now, so it isn't so urgent. So, I do wonder if I adjust this, or do I get another truck to make some of these deliveries? I don't know, I could go either way. We, uh, the unfortunate thing is that we need more open haul trucks. We could stop the exports of vehicles. Right, so rather than uh, rather than exporting vehicles to Baraharad, we could instead get them delivering to uh, to, 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 to Grad, perhaps. They're you. So you pick them up from Oksolinsky. Oh, you're a completely different thing altogether. You know what, let's go ahead and repurpose this vehicle. Wow, this thing's been going down uh, over here to pick up... Uh, um, containers of mechanical components that aren't being made anymore. And I believe you're doing the same thing as well. Okay, wonderful. You know what? In that case, in that case, let's go ahead and... Got three of you doing that. Let's go ahead and edit this line. Sure, why not? You're going to start... Can I actually get rid of both of these? I can. Excellent. So you're going to start over here. Load 100% of anything. Yeah. And you're going to go up over here and unload 100% of anything. Yeah, that should that should work out. I mean, don't take buses and stuff. I wish I wish you could specify which vehicles, but you can't. Um, that's not a problem. All right, cool. So we got three trucks doing that right now. That's obviously a 
at least one too many. So we're going to get you and we're going to adjust you to instead go from the space for vehicles. I want to make sure I have you selected. Now if I do this and then I view line details. Okay, good. Wonderful. Oh, that's only for you though. Hmm. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, I'm actually going to be editing this anyway. So let's go ahead and get you starting over there and ending over here to unload vehicles. This is its its own line, of course. Um, leak that stop. All right, cool. You line details. So you're going to go down to deliver vehicles. So we have one truck delivering vehicles over here. We have one truck delivering vehicles over uh, here unnecessarily, and then also cycling to the other two spots. And then we have two trucks going all the way up to uh, Veterinkograd's um, car dealer up over here. And that makes sense to have two trucks going up there because of the travel distance being so much longer. Hopefully it balances out time versus, uh, like time to delivery versus consumption basically is what I'm thinking. We'll see if that works out. That'll be, that'll be pretty good, I think. Uh, okay, getting a little deeper into it than I initially anticipated before hitting play. My apologies. Um, I also want to take a look at the population really quickly. 52.6 is not bad. Our overall escape count, uh, it's only the 14th of January. Let's take a look at last year. Those escapes are high. Again, as many of you have pointed out, when they hit 30, they leave. And, um... The only way to stop that is to make more housing, but having more housing means you're having more babies, and having more babies means you're having... It's a perpetual, you know, it's a perpetual cycle. Uh, but I do want to try and keep that number lower rather than higher. We'll, we'll be tackling that hopefully soon enough. Financially, I mean, we've been doing fantastic, right? Like, if you look at our economy, like, we're, we're fine as far as money is concerned, and it's kind of wild to be in that position. Uh, but yeah, it's all about employment, residential, um, and... Uh, Rather, I should say, uh, employment crisis, housing crisis, and tourism tweaking, I suppose. It's not really a crisis. It's it's, it's tweaking. I, I could get, by the way, let me just check something real quick over here um, before we dive into it. 339 tourists intended to enter the Republic. Now, a lot of the... I wish I could tell who, like, what's from... What's air, what's ground, what's what. You know, like, I wish I could tell rather than having to, uh, like, check out the customs houses... 67 over here. But these guys are from the east, obviously. I, I assume. Oh man, how? I gotta scroll all the way across. Let's go. Come on. Using scrolling, I feel, is like a faster way to <laughs> zoom across these massive maps. Yeah, 15 tourists over here. I'm just checking a couple of them just to get an idea of. Yeah, these are relatively low numbers, actually. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if just having the plane active will make that be more um, successful or, or more. Uh, bring more results. We'll, we'll see. Uh, the first order of business, though, folks, is for me to do a quick cut while I fix this train situation. Again, I am really not sure when it happened and why it happened. There really isn't any reason for this all to have fallen apart. It was working perfectly smoothly. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, and if somebody can identify the issue, then please let me know down below and, and tell me why it might have happened. But out of nowhere, uh, something tripped up somewhere, and now we have this jam because they've... Uh, They've overlapped into their, uh, their their signal areas, and, and now it's all, you know, messed up. All I really have to do is flip some of these signals around so the trains actually leave, uh, you know, make enough of a gap. It's not going to be a big... Uh, and I was tempted to edit it, but it actually looks like it's not going to be as much of a fix as needed. I can switch you around. All right, do that. And then I can probably... Oh, yeah, I was, I was going to edit this out, but I realize now that maybe I don't actually need to... Do that. You're headed this way already, yeah, so you're gonna get out. You're coming over this way. The uprising grad. The problem over here is like it can't go back over here, so I mean I could tell it to go back. Um, but I would have to change this semaphore to face that way, right? Again, this is all kind of temporary, and then we should be fine. I'm gonna just to be safe send you back to uprising grad because we do need more. Workers to get picked up. You, you head back. I'm gonna head back here. Head back. I'm gonna pick people up. We got a thousand workers waiting over there. It's kind of ridiculous. Um. Okay, let's hit play. Let's see how this uh, plays out. Hopefully, this will clear out. You should be able to keep moving. No, you're not. Oh, that's why. Cause I got you as well. My apologies, and you. And then you should be able to cross over. All right, cool. That ought to do the trick. Flip you around. There we go. Go, 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 go. Go. There we go. 
That should clear everything up. But he's got to get out as well. And once these two get out, we'll be able to um, solve this situation. All right, you're gone. Excellent. You got to pass through here, and that'll free these guys up. Hopefully in proper order. <laughs> I just want to make sure, like, I, I want to show that how, how, how easy this solution actually is. The first time I had to do this, I obviously edited it out because I was like, okay, I, I don't want to, uh, as I figure it out, I don't want to have to, you know, have people suffer. <laughs> but, uh, but there you go. Done. So let's go ahead and flip this back around. Flip this back around. I want to make sure these are one ways. There we go. Uh, actually, these need to stay two ways so that this train, no, he's going, going to go up that way. So we're fine, actually. There we go. Cool. You're up there now. We're going to flip you around. Excellent. So now everything should be moving smoothly. You're going to come through. You're going to flip up that way, I imagine. Yeah, off you go. I am tempted, actually. No, I'm going to just let them pass through. Here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and flip you around, actually. The reason why I'm doing this is because we have... Why did no one get picked up? We've got a thousand workers over here waiting to get picked up. You can definitely get to there. I don't know why you got this question mark on you, buddy. Oh no, you're fine here. You're gonna stop here? Are you gonna pick people up? You're not gonna pick people up. What is going on? I'm not sure about that. Maybe we just have to do a loop over here. This is gonna be a little bit of unemployment for a little bit of time, but that that should get us solving the problem over here. Now this train's gonna come up over here, so that's why this train is waiting. Gonna come over here. He's gonna pick up workers, and these guys are gonna continue down over here. Now, this has caused a massive standstill for us. So many of our industries rely on these trains working smoothly, and uh, and obviously that, that's caused some trouble. It's caused some trouble with regards to food. It's caused some trouble with regards to like all this stuff has completely stopped moving, um, which is obviously not good, <laughs> uh, to say the least. I mean, all this stuff has slowed down as well, which I, that might actually be for the better because we were consuming fuel pretty quickly. We're looking okay, though. We're looking okay. We've got plenty of clothes and stuff. All right, fine. Cool. Fantastic. Um, now, over here, then. Now that that's been solved and, and taken care of, I do want to make sure that I am making the right vehicles. And we're getting, getting some buses done. Uh, why would I want buses? What was I in the middle of doing? I guess I was in the middle of getting uh, this stuff organized over here. Right? How many buses, how many tourist buses do I have coming up over here? I've got two tourist buses and one workers bus coming up over here. Is that good enough. I kind of don't want the workers to be delivered up over here, actually. And it's been, I, I've received a suggestion with regards to how to get workers uh, over here instead, and, and tourists over here as well. So let's go ahead and get that sorted. Um, yeah. yeah, look at that. Finally, it's going to pick up the pace. Yeah, th th this explains why everything felt so slow for, for at least a bit of last session. Um, okay, what I need over here is a bus stop. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to do like a, a proper proper bus platform. We haven't had one of those in a long time. We haven't had one of those in a very long time. Kind of make it feel like an actual complex, you know? Uh, put you down like over here, maybe. Hook you up, loop you up that way. I feel like it'd be a... It'd be a nice kind of a throwback to how we used to make uh, <laughs> make bus, uh, bus stops and stuff. I don't know if it's ever going to be a super crowded space. How many people can you hold? 500 on this one. Um, sure, I don't think we'll ever have more than 500, but I do want it to be a nice kind of large space. I could also actually take a look at some of the modded um, bus platforms. I do think I have some good looking ones if I could find. There we go. Bus. Um, these are all trains, aren't they? Trains, trains, trains. I want a nice bus stop. Don't know if they exist. Don't know if they not exist, but if I if I have them, guess not. That's too bad. Probably bus. All right, fine. I could also do this. Nah, let's just do let's just do the, the regular one. Bit of a throwback is a, is 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 good fun. All right, let's hook you up over here. All right, so we have room for the road to go up this way. Yeah, we're good. If I ever need to expand in this direction or anything like that, come on now. Oh, come on. There we go. Beautiful. So the issue here, evidently, is that the um, neither workers nor tourists nor anybody 
can be dropped off directly at a... Uh, I don't like that. Uh, can be dropped off directly at a... Um, uh, uh, oh man, what are they called? <laughs> At a ski lift is what I'm going to call it for now. You cannot drop them off directly there. You have to drop them off at a station nearby, and then they walk over to there. Which um, is actually the case down at Moria, and and I didn't think of that being the uh, the variable, right? Because it's just like that doesn't... In, in many ways, that doesn't make any sense. But down at Moria, we have people getting off at the trolley bus uh, stop. And, and then they walk over to the... Um, the cable car station. There we go. The, ca the cableway station or whatever. Cableway station, yeah. The word was eluding me. Um, but yeah, so that, that's what's going down at Moria, right? People go down to this... Um, they get taken to here from where they walk over to here. And, and we, we send people over to there. That's why this is working. And it just wasn't clicking with me, I suppose, last session. So let's go ahead and get this thing done. We'll just pay for it. And this should solve the problem now. Let's go ahead and I want to make sure... This is the airport shuttle. We did... I'm trying to remember now if I have fixed my... Uh, how many... Because I was doing a lot of temporary fixes last session, and I'm trying to remember now if I have fixed those temporary fixes. Like, if I've if I've replaced those band-aids or not. I'm trying to remember. Um, this bus is done. So let's go ahead and switch you over to some more cars, please. That's the current production. The cars can start getting shipped um, across the nation as needed. So you, rather than go to Marat. All right, fine. This this loop will, will let you go to Marat. There's only the one bus on this, and the second one just got made. Yes. Okay. Cool. Again, it's a little uh, there. There's a uh, maybe the end of the the end of last session wasn't. Uh, there was so much going on at the end of it. It's just like my head needs to like kind of check itself. So I hope y'all don't mind. Uh, things might get a little messy for uh, for one session here, and then uh, and then we should be back in like our usual semi-organized fashion. There we go. You, I want to go ahead and there we go. gotta do that. Then I should be able to do. Nope. Like once he starts leaving, I can do this. Or once he arrives, I can do this. There we go. But once he starts leaving, excellent. Done and done. Once this... That's so cool to see. He can't actually land because there are no workers at the... Um, at the control tower. There's the bus arriving right now. Okay, hopefully dropping them off uh, at the cableway station will uh, will make enough of a difference over here. It's pretty neat seeing the uh, plane circling of that. Come on now. Surely there are, there are workers headed over. We got a full bus. There we go. Slowly walking over. That's why I also want to use the uh, the cableway station. I feel like it would it should be faster. Just a little bit. There we go. Done. Beautiful. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and start you off. But I will want to edit this line as soon as this is done, which it is now. Rather than go to the Marat bus stop, I want you to go to here. And at this bus platform, I want you to unload all the workers. We get rid of that. Done. This, I want to rename to the, um, or what to call it, the, uh, the airport cableway bus platform. That makes sense to me. Right. And then this I would like to call the airport oops cableway station. Maybe we give it a fancier name like the airport cableway something station or you know something like that. Um, okay. So we got to do something about our power. So that is workers I think taking care of tourists go kind of the other way around. So over here, we want workers. Come on, we want workers to be sent here. Right? And they'll be carried over. And from here, 
tourists, I'm going to get rid of that. We're going to try this again. A little bit of an experiment, right? Um, this is the... Okay, so technically... Um, uh, okay, hold on. Airport cableway station is fine. Um, Marat Terminal Cableway Station. Let's let's do that. I don't know. Uh, this it'll, it'll it'll all make sense eventually, but that's not even important right now. Um, what's important right now is from here. I want forests to go here, right? And then the forests buses. Should be able to pick people up from over here. Good. Tourists will be expected to be picked up from over here as well. Um, Alright. Okay. So, up over here. Let's go ahead and get our MZ-104. View line details. St. Elysburg Center bus is where they end up. I want them to start at the Marat bus stop. Then you go over here to load... Tourists. Marat bus stop reloading. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. In theory, this should work. <laughs> I believe this should work. We do have eight tourists coming through. We'll we'll kind of see how they move move around. Again, I want to make sure this is working smoothly and stuff, but there is there are so many other things to tackle as well. Uh, and it's all coming together at once, right? It's all coming together at once. Do we have any cars headed over this way right now? Vehicles currently headed to this building. You are no cars right now, so why don't you flip back, buddy? I, I wish... Yeah, it's like I kind of want to use distribution offices, but also that feels like over-complicating uh, it, you know? Okay, now we got workers waiting over here. And I do think they are being picked up and, and pulled over here. Yep, definitely being picked up. We're going to have to add more uh, cars. I'm sh not sure which cars uh, these people are going to get dropped off from, but let's go ahead and get our footpath over here upgraded. And maybe hooked up over here as well. I want, this I want them to get here as quickly as possible. It's too bad there isn't a footpath connection back over there. People are able to get in over here, as we just saw. Uh, fuel delivery is coming through, which is great. We've already got quite a bit of fuel. I'm like trying to keep an eye out for workers stepping out from over here. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so we know this is working in one direction. What about tourists? There were tourists over here, and now they're not. we got a tourist down over here. There's only one way for, the, for them to get down here, so that's great. Okay. So that's cool. How long are you willing to wait over here? Waiting on platform, you're, you're willing to wait for 12 hours? Jeez, okay. And up over here, we got a tourist. Five hour traveling time, right? An hour and a half at this bus stop. Well, uh, took the cable way down and then is waiting at this bus stop and is about to get picked up. There we go, beautiful. You have one tourist on this bus. Okay, well, you know, maybe not not perfect, but I want to make sure we are loading and unloading over here. Now, hopefully, hopefully tourists only get off the bus if they want to get off the bus, right? Like, I don't know if that logic is, how, how cleanly that logic is coded in, I suppose, but we'll, we'll find out. Uh, okay, so I think this is now working somewhat smoothly, and if so, we're going to come back to it maybe in like March or something, maybe February, maybe March, get some more planes and get this uh, rotation happening a bit more smoothly. Got workers over here. What about the fire station? So there's something to be said about um, workers being delivered. Um, heavy person cabins. How many more do we need? 33 we can have. 12 passengers. Yeah, don't mind if I do. That ought to do the trick. Um... There's something to be said about having a bunch of workers get delivered all at once so they can kind of spread out to multiple spots versus workers trickling in because then they might, uh, some might end up not at the fire station, for example, when they're needed there. 
Uh, so that's something to think about, but uh, I think, I think, I think we're moving somewhat smoothly. There's four tourists waiting over here now. You're headed over to pick them up. All right, okay. I need to add some more of these, uh, more of these MZ 104s. I just buy a couple. Again, like I was saying a couple of uh, sessions ago, a bit of that novelty has like now worn off. Uh, it's still fun to make our own vehicles, but now we can start, you know, uh, until we get another vehicle factory up and running, we can start using our uh, considerable wealth to uh, to purchase um, to purchase vehicles to get the job done. What is the? I thought it was a. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's out of date. Oh, there it is. The MZ104. Go ahead and get air review. And let's go ahead and get few line details. Get you guys started. It is a it is a long way, so I want to make sure there is a bit of a sort of a con constant flow of of trains and whatnot. These trains are all sorry um, buses and whatnot, and these trains are all seemingly up and running now, which is good. Take a look at our population statistics. Take a look at unemployment. Oh, look at that! Holy crap! Look at that! We were up at like nine thousand just south of but basically nine thousand um you might as well round up at, at these large numbers that is ridiculous oh look at that look at how it skyrocketed at the end there we were so focused on the uh, planes and stuff that we missed out on what was going on with the uh, the trains and that's what caused the mass unemployment and look at that quick dip crazy absolutely crazy good to see though good to see that we've solved it all right cool and so we've got more buses coming over here Let's check something out over here. We gotta deliver. We gotta start delivering food and and, and alcohol and all that kind of stuff, uh, all that good stuff. From here, maybe. Where would you drive? You would go. I feel like I need to like. Where would I even connect? How would I? How would I cut down the distance from here to there? You know, we might need another uh, highway, so to speak, to to make it happen. Help deliver up over here. Well, this is a long, long journey, though. I don't know if that would work. Well, let's go ahead and from this distribution office, which currently has no vehicles. Well, that doesn't... I mean... We know we have vehicles available, so why don't we go ahead and... Send you over there. Send you over there. Let's go you over here I'm trying to figure out why I might have uh, or, like why this might have completely slipped my mind <laughs> but nonetheless I suppose it did now's our opportunity to fix that we're gonna have you also unloading and we'll see if it'll fit you're taking care of the tourist stuff down over here. Let's also add... Building's incompatible because you're a, you're a pool, right? That's fine. I wish I could duplicate office tasks. I don't think we can. Yeah, I don't think we can. Okay, fair enough. So, over here. Rickstonia Road Cargo Station number two. This is where we're going to load. Vehicles haven't arrived yet, which is why we can't specify what we want to load over here. We cannot do meat because there are no uh, refrigeration trucks, so we can just buy one, I suppose. Um, vehicles? Yeah. This thing was throwing me off. <laughs> this is oh, it's a dry bulk tank. That's why I was like, this is new, right? Um, refrigeration. Go ahead and pick up a trusty KMZ. Oh, we do anything else? These trucks are starting to arrive now in quick succession. Go ahead and upgrade this road. All right. So we're getting food, alcohol, meat, clothes, and electronics. Yeah. Uprising grad meat storage over here. Add you. We are unloading meat. Uprising Grad Small Barn. 
That is you. We are unloading food, clothes, electronics. Yep. Uprising Grad Shopping Center, where we are unloading everything. Yep. Uprising Grad Barns, small barn number two. This one down over here. We are unloading and more of the same. Food, clothes, electronics, meat storage number two. That'll be you. Oops, unload the meat. St. Elitesburg Road Cargo Station. That's... Oh, I hate when it auto-saves. It, like, unclicks your, uh, your thing over here. So well, that's gotta be this thing. Oh, that's a forklift garage. Gotta be this thing. St. Elitesburg Road Cargo Station. Yep. I've skipped this Uprising Grad pub, and that's okay. I'm actually okay with that. Um, food, clothes, electronics, meat... Then I'm going to skip all of this tourist stuff with this distribution office and focus up over here instead. And hopefully that like balances out the two. I mean, I don't know if that's necessary. Maybe it's not. In fact, it's probably not. Um, but but that's what we're doing for now. Now, this is obviously a problem. All this, uh, all these brownouts and stuff. Now, are they brownouts or what? Let's take a look at our our supply over here. It is not receiving enough power, is my assumption. Or at least it wasn't previously. Now, is that because we didn't have enough workers over here to provide a constant supply of power? Possibly. Quite possibly. Now, what I might want to do is I might want to get um, a line from over here up to the airport. We'll see if that's necessary. Uh, now, one last check over here for our tourists. I want to see... If things are moving okay over here, I want to see if we are uh, having any issues. And if not, then I'm going to start getting some more planes as well. Didn't we just have an arrival? We did. 12 tourists. It's weird to me that it's only 12 tourists. It's like, we know there's a bunch waiting out there, but why aren't they They're coming in bigger numbers? Food is being delivered here finally. Alcohol and meat, I'm sure, will arrive soon as well. We need to start buying alcohol, I think. Uh, the production of alcohol has not been something we've prioritized. Yeah, look at all these brownouts. We're going to have to fix the power situation for sure. Very soon, very soon. Um, we've got... I guess I could try this. I'm surprised this food factory is actually topped up. Okay, let's let's give it a little bit more time. And if we're not able to get alcohol done, then I'm 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 nixing it. The other thing we can do, obviously, is uh, is pull alcohol from up over... Not here, but over here, if we want to try and focus on it a bit more, or maybe we just start buying alcohol. Again, it's it is you know that that uh, the novelty of trying to be entirely self-sustaining is uh, like yeah, you look at our situation right now, right? A lot of the stuff we paid for because we just built some stuff, but but overall we are you know this is this whole year. Last year, what are we looking at last year? It's all construction stuff when we auto auto build some stuff. Alcohol, we purchase some. Why is electronics still showing up? <laughs> Iron ore up north. And I feel like we've done a pretty good job of uh, of becoming like fairly self uh, self sustaining. It's it's nice to kind of like it might be important to kind of like let go of that past. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do we keep trying to do everything ourselves? It's not that difficult. All we need to do is maybe get another alcohol distillery, you know, down over here or something. Uh, or, you know, build some more fields, get an alcohol distillery down over here. Get an alcohol distillery um, up over up over here somewhere. Like, we can get it done. I'm just wondering if, if we want to. Or if we want to do other things. Uh, you know, if, if actually, if our... We're able to reduce it down over here, which it seems like we are... Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll give it some time still. We'll see if we can make it efficient down there, and then we'll we'll make a decision from there. Uh, okay, down over here. You're about to take off again. Fair enough. No no tourists over here because there's no staff over here. You're not able to walk from over here to there. You are. Yeah, this is the trouble with having uh, people trickle in, right? 
Nobody's working over here. Got people working over here. Great. 27 tourists waiting up over here. They don't know where to go. I guess I need to tell them to go down over here. Or over here. So what do they do if I don't tell them where to go? Okay, eventually they do get tired and they move on. Hold on, what if, what if I what if I don't tell them where to go? Some of them decided to move down over here, which is you know good for them. What are you guys gonna do? You're just gonna stay there. You're gonna wait for a bus to come over here, aren't you? All right, lesson learned. There, let's send them to either of these two spots, and then these buses will come through and pick them up, right? Yeah, yes, I'm glad I checked that before we did get more planes. I'm glad I checked that before we did get more planes, but I think now we're good to get some more planes. So let's get at least one more plane. Get ourselves a... We got the uh, 144. Maybe we get something... It's it's so weird, though, because it's like, well, we're only getting, like, so many passengers at a time. You guys are all pretty slow. With the TU-154. 164 passengers. Hopefully, at some point, they'll start uh, coming in with full loads. Needs an 870 meter runway. Should be able to use one of the other ones, hopefully. Let me check something here. Um, yeah, we've got we've got two extremely long runways, so we should be fine there. This one's actually a sh just one meter short of a kilometer. Kind of funny. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get you. And it'll be Western, uh, it'll be Western tourists as well. So I would like to. Copy your schedule over to here. Get you going. Oh, that was a that was a really fast and sudden bit of acceleration there. Now you're gonna be taking off from a different uh, spot, I imagine. Nope, still using the same one. Well, guess if it's convenient to get to. Oh, what are we doing? Ooh, ooh, oh, this is pretty cool. Look at that. That's why that one was occupied. Oh, we're actually using this shortcut over here. I'm guessing we're going to use this one, or which one are we going to use? Oh, this is pretty cool. And I wonder if our uh, Unkordski <laughs> will uh, will actually turn where we made that uh, shortcut, because I think it's been built. Yeah, it looks like it is doing that. Oh, that's so cool, man. This is actually really... It's really something, isn't it? So we came across this way to go down that way. I mean, I guess it's faster. You know, you're getting on the runway over here. Why, though? Why wouldn't you go all the way down? I'm trying to understand the logic of its movements. Right, if you're going to end up over here anyway, then why go across there and then backtrack down over here? Like, what's going on? Oh, you know what? It's probably trying to get fuel. It probably went that way and then realized it needs fuel and then has come back. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Probably. So it's going to loop into this one because that our, our big plane over there needs that one. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. We have like a proper fleet. Like. We have a proper like <laughs> and they like synchronize and stuff. That's that's pretty neat, man. That's pretty neat. I could, I honestly, I think I mentioned last session, I, I really like, I like the airport experience. As a child, as an adult, I've always enjoyed the, uh, the complexity of it. <laughs> this is so cool. Right, so they're both coming through this way, which is an interesting call, fair enough. But hang on a second, are you both going to use, which, uh, which runways are you going to use? Why are you headed up that way? Oh, are you going to take off in the other direction? <gasps> Is that what we're going to see? Dude. Oh, I'm so, I, I mean, I know this is really like slow going. Let's, let's pick up the pace a little bit, but I do, I do want to see this go down. Uh, are we doing a better job of shifting tourists? I think so. We topped up on fuel as well, which is nice to see. Got food over here. We got meat over here. No alcohol. No alcohol over here. Okay, hang on a second. Are you kidding me? Or what are we doing over here? Yeah, that guy's ready over there. 
Oh no, you're gonna go all the way to the end from here? Nope, we are taking off from opposite sides. This is pretty cool. So there he goes. And there we go. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. Off we go. That plane's already gone. It, it goes like, I think 133% the speed of this one. That one's already gone. This one is, look at that. Look at that. Man. That is a, that is a really cool feeling. All right. That is a really cool feeling. Okay, well, let's see if we actually, if that actually helps our, our tourism industry a little bit, right? Uh, it, it, with that set aside, let's go ahead and take care of some of the concerns of our, our citizens over here, and then we'll start building more housing. Because these guys, again, they're not... Oh, no, no kindergarten. Are you kidding me? We need another kindergarten in this area? Wow. Not what I would have expected. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade you. That connection done. Okay, we need another kindergarten, no pub or tavern, that's fine, no food, no electronics, no meat. Okay, were you just not able to, uh, you're able to get to the store. They have clothes and electronics and meat. You just not have free time to get there? That is interesting. I'm not sure, not sure about that. Uh, a little concerned about it, obviously, but not sure about what's causing that. How many of you guys having trouble a lot of people are having trouble getting food i'm guessing maybe we're just not seeing enough quantities let's go ahead and increase the amount of food we store here we need more food than electronics at any given time or clothes for that matter that should do the trick cold storage is only so big so we can't add more again the thing is like if, if it's multiple resources in a slot then you can adjust the amounts but if it's not then you can't uh which is you know, I mean, it is what it is hopefully this helps okay that's happening over here. I almost wonder if I need another store over here. Oh, we got room for shoppers. I think it's just that food runs out by the time some of these people are able to get over here. Okay, but we do need another kindergarten though, uh, which is unexpected. I'm guessing what's happened is because a lot of these guys are sending their kids to the kindergarten over here as well. Uh, these guys are no longer able to use the kindergarten over here. Okay, fair enough. School is, oh lord, also topped up. Okay, so we need another school and another kindergarten. Kinda saw this coming. Kinda saw this coming. Uh, we could... How do I want to do this? Alright. School back over here is good. Go ahead and auto-build and upgrade you guys. Right, I expect this to be relatively busy, hopefully. Hope you're not sending your kids over here. We got a kindergarten over here. We've been talking about that in the past quite a bit. So let's go ahead and get that kindergarten in. Uh, kindergarten, this one. Yep. We'll do the infrastructure. Oh, come on. There it is. Face you down this way. I will do the infrastructure. Where's the flat? I, if, if I flatten it, then it might be a bit more uh, willing to cooperate. There we go. So flatten away. Don't think that's the direction I wanted to flatten, though, unfortunately. I don't think it'll connect. Okay, well, most certainly not. Right from center. Pay for it. I'll probably pay for the, the kindergarten as well. Relatively urgent situation. I mean, hmm, is it? Provide employment if I don't uh, auto-build it. Close. Hook you up like this. That looks good to me. Here, let's pop you down. Get the uh, footpaths. Let's go ahead and build this, though. The, the kindergarten maybe we make ourselves, but the, uh, the paths and the footpath, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Um, hook you up like steep of a descent, is it? All right. And we... Find a way to smooth this out. 
of an incline. Oh, a bit of a bit of a messy spot over here then I guess. Can we the scent? Alright. Smooth this out a bit. There we go, maybe. There we go. There we go. Not too steep of a descent. Back in my day, I had to go uphill both ways to get to school. This is actually, I actually am surprised that they consider this to be too steep of a descent slash ascent. Seems, seems reasonable to me. Yeah, you got a good morning workout in. And they'll be able to reach this, I'm sure. Oh, I hope so, at least. Let me check. Yeah, they should be fine. They should be fine. Found that construction. Best way to check, I suppose, is to go here and do that. Yeah, they'll be fine. What about you guys? Yes, okay, wonderful. So once this kindergarten is done, we can add some more housing over here. I am leaving some room over here for, for adding some housing, if necessary. Well, not if, but when necessary. Uh, but I really hope that relieves the pressure from this kindergarten and that allows some of these guys to, to drop the kids off over here. It should, right? We get 341. This isn't even full. Uh, is this one full? Not full. We get about 360, let's say. Let's say 400 students in a kindergarten. Um, I, I think I think that'll do the trick. I sincerely hope that does the trick. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, but apart from that, we also want to deal with culture. That's a big one. Culture is a big one. Before I get into that, I just want to keep an eye on our situation up over here. What are we looking at as far as tourists are concerned? 17 tourists, okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby. A lot of workers waiting over here. Slowly getting taken over. To this side. See, what worries me is that every time I come here, I don't see any firefighters. You know? I don't see any hotel staff, I don't see any firefighters. Um, and that can... Oh, that this is why. Good job, party. Good job. God. I must have said that last time and, and forgotten about it. My apologies. That's entirely on me, obviously. Uh, okay, I'm glad I checked, though. But tourism. Rather, culture. Now, what I think I want to do is... I think I want to look at some of the modded uh, options I've I've gotten. Cinema. We do have the People's... No, not the People's Theater. Which one was it? We had a pretty cool theater option. Hmm this up over here or put it up over here adjust the uh, the wiring a bit maybe put this down over here it's power from two spots yeah yeah I think that works um the train like what else are we gonna put over here right is what I'm thinking is like what else are we gonna put down over here not much. This gives access to our citizens. It gives access to tourists as well. Right next to a couple of statues, <laughs> which is always a nice extra. I think people will be able to reach it. Here, let's pop it down over here. Done. I'm going to go ahead and build at least one of these so I can see. Yeah, a bunch of people are able to reach at that hotel. All the people from these... Houses, excellent, excellent. A couple people in this corner over here not able to reach it, but that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get something for them. Um, and I also get a cinema maybe across the way. I'm trying to find a nice way to like sort of make this a, a, a culture hub, if you will, as you drive in. You, you drive across a couple of uh, fancy, fancy spots, and we'll do the train station maybe further down over here or something. The people from here get taken over there. Maybe the bus takes people down to there or something. Or maybe it's even across the way and have the train station over here. Like the, the passenger platform that takes people down over here, right, is what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I think I think that I think that makes sense. We'll pop you down over here. We've got cinema. we got theater. we got culture. Done. Um, what else do we have that we can build over here? Equipment for citizens. I'm wondering if I want to put down some, like, sporting some athletic stuff over here as well, because I think a lot of these people were not able to fulfill their sports needs either, right? Yeah, quite a few. That 
Stolgrad down over here. We do have a fire station in the area. Up over here. Looks like it's responding right away. All right, cool. We're good. <laughs> a little worried. This is all good. We're all building this stuff. That's fantastic. Uh, what else do we want to do over here? Food crop, equipment, education. Hmm. I don't think... I mean, the Republic Theater. Eh, this is a little too... I, I want to do something else with this, I think. With the with the Republic Theater. What about... Alright, what else do we have for, for mods? Pubs. Oh, that's the restaurant, right? I was like, we have a whole modded section for pubs. What? Um... We actually have some hotels as well. Wanted to add some more hotels. Cinema. I probably, I think I want to look at some more mods potentially for uh, for, for culture related items. Otherwise we can do some sports stuff over here as well. I think that's not a bad idea. Like we saw, they, they need some, some sports facilities as well. So why don't we go ahead and get, oh, a stadium. Might be a little too, uh, I don't think a stadium makes sense over here. At least with a theater or something, you could have like sound, noise insulation and stuff like that, right? So I don't think I don't think a big stadium makes sense over here. But like a, a a field like this makes sense to me. This feels to me like you know, like a like a school, um, where where, where the local schools go to practice for uh, for the game and, and stuff like that. So this I could buy. I don't think I don't think we have enough room for it. I know. Off the train a little bit. There we go. See if that works. Nah. As soon as I flatten the train enough, it's gonna be like, nope, you need um infrastructures in the way or some something like that. Or a little too chunky. That's okay. We can go ahead and get uh, the uh, the gymnasiums instead, of course. Also an option. Though, I would be upset if I didn't try properly first, right? Do that. How about now? Don't need flat train in the bottom corner. Yeah, this is a is a pipe dream anyway. I don't know why I'm wasting time on it. I I know for a fact that the footprint's gonna be too big. Fair enough. Uh, I could put this up over here instead potentially. Flattening the train up over here is not a problem. But it's, it's not really close enough to too many of our, 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 uh, our citizens' homes or anything. So let's go ahead and put some gyms down over here. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, what I think I'll do is... Pop you down... Here. Here. And... Here. Have the road come through here and connect all these guys in. But also get... A bowling alley. Bowling alleys only need footpaths, eh? Yeah. For bowling alley down. Well, I don't know if it'll fit as the thing. Sure, it could could put you down like this. Right. Fit, I mean, with the roads and stuff. Get a road coming through this way. Coming through this way, and then hook in like this. Nope. Do it. Hook in like this. And we... Sure, we'll stick with that. Okay. There we go. Do something like that. And do a similar kind of a curved... Yep. Yeah, like, it, it feels like it's intentional. It feels like an aesthetic. And then we can hook you up like this. And we... Have a nicer curve. There we go. Cool. Yeah, see, that, that feels like it's an intentional kind of aesthetic... It feels like, you know, a tree branch kind of a thing or something. There's something going on over here. It looks like it's on purpose uh, rather than, like, struggling with the, the game systems. All right, cool. So we've got culture. We've got sports. We've got kindergartens. Cool. I, I think this is good enough for us to clone over to the other side. Now, raising the terrain like this works twofold because we can also build a bridge over, uh, over this way if we need to. We've already got this one, but if we need another road... Uh, bridge over here. We can do that. We just have to move this thing somewhere. But we can do that, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, now, the question is... Okay, the train platform. Do I want to put it on this side? 
Now, okay, now we're going into a bit of a planning mindset over here really quickly. I'm not looking to build any of these things, I'm just looking to plan. Let's go ahead and take a look at the modded... Well, I mean, I am looking to build them, but first I want to make sure my little plan makes sense. We've got a pretty nice couple of options over here as far as stations are concerned. This one takes a thousand passengers. Alright. If we were to plant you down over here... Hmm, I don't want to flatten this train, let's see. Can I... Like, that's as big as the circle gets. Can I raise you up like this? Hold on, actually, let's level train from here. There we go, beautiful. What about using rubles? A war on soil continues. There. That's what I need. And obviously we'll like smooth this out as we get further and further along, but for now, this helps me figure this space out. Sure, do that for now. Get Sola or Sula station. Feel free to correct my pronunciation. But do we have a nicer... Hmm. I was hoping for... See, what I like about the Voskal medium is that it's nice and it's big, but it's not covered. Doesn't feel like a you know like a covered building. So let's go with Sola Station over here. Copy down. Let's say. Let's say over here, sure. E. Yep. Right. So, no one's able to walk over here, right? No one's gonna be able to walk over here. They're gonna have to get on the bus stop over here, and from that bus stop, they're gonna be taken down over here. Or actually, they're gonna be taken to a bus stop. That's like across the way. And then they'll be and then they'll have to like walk across to the station. And so if we do something like this, and then we go to our mods and get a large. And don't worry, solving the power situation will be coming soon as well. Get one of these over here, because I want to make sure that we're never like struggling to keep passengers rolling. Right. That. That. Cool. So passengers get, workers get picked up over here, they get picked up over here. They get dropped off over here. From here they get onto the train platform, which can host again a thousand people. And they take that train down over here to work. Some continue on down over here at Petrograd to work. I think that's reasonable. It's not overcomplicated. It's not too, you know, wild or anything like that. But it does the job. We could potentially... Potentially. We've got this bridge up over here. We could potentially build a bridge over here as well. Connect how? We'd like come down this way maybe. If we do this bridge, I want it to like line up nicely to that one. This kind of a thing. All right. Yeah, bridge looks okay. Wonder if the train like clips through it or if it actually goes through it properly. Could also have the bridge further up, maybe. I think that looks a bit more realistic, actually. Do that. Get rid of this one. Further the road a little bit. Too steep of a descent. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Easily fixed. Right from center. Before, let's go. I need to raise this a bit higher. The messaging I'm getting. Like that, maybe. Flatten you a bit over here. Maybe that'll do the trick. Let's see. The road out. This way. Like so. Can we get this concrete bridge? Like so, we can. Oh, ho, 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 ho. almost auto-built that. Nope. Again, I don't want to auto-build this because I do want to just kind of plan for now. Right up to about here does the trick, I think. I want to make sure our... I want to make sure it looks good. You know, I want to make sure it's not like clipping through and all that kind of jazz. Um, where are we? Concrete bridge. Up to here. 
Excellent. Not so much, it's not straight. That is a trick. Cool. And then this would pull up and connect over here. Oh, you know what? That's actually quite nice. That actually works quite nice. And like bisects that curve, I guess. All right, and then up over here, can we? Yeah, we can. Ooh, okay. I do like this. We'd have to loop this around, obviously. This has to like be a a loop, and that's fine. Can I tighten this a bit more? Yeah, like that I think. And then like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot, actually, folks. Yeah, cool. We get brought over here from from this bus stop. This is probably faster. From this bus stop, this bridge is probably faster. So that feels good. We got like. A nice multi-bridge kind of a thing going on over here as trains pass through. I, I like that as well. It's got like a nice, it's got a nice feel to it, I think. Um, yeah. All right. All right. This is, uh, this is, this is looking good. And then of course we need to get the, uh, the platform and stuff down over there. But for now, I really want to check quickly up over here. What are we looking at? Two tourists. Really? Average trip score is 3.1. Soviet tourists not having such a good time. Why? Why? Trip ended prematurely. Oh no. Well, that was from a while ago, I imagine. Do we have a train jam or a vehicle jam or something? Everything looks like it's moving smoothly. No one's died yet, so that's good. Alright, well hopefully... Hopefully the score continues to push upwards. We're doing okay, though, if we take a look at our economy. Now we're starting to get some money from... Uh, Tourists on both sides. That's good. That's good. Uh, I do think we're working relatively smoothly over here. So 18 tourists coming through. Lots of workers. I don't think we prevent the tourists from coming down over here. I think we're still doing fine on that front. It's just like, yeah, the, these planes are not picking up as many tourists as I was expecting them to, I guess. I suspect as we go on, and as tourists start having better and better times over here, we'll be... Um, We'll be, uh... Um, where's the fire station over here? Fire truck was called, so we know there's a truck headed over, but where is the station itself? Down over here, I imagine. Potentially. Oh, do I need another fire station up over here? That might not be a terrible idea. There's the fire truck. Come on, buddy. I don't want to see this thing get burned down. I don't know if one truck is enough. We're about to find out. It's a little worrying. One tourist to get electronics. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out the alcohol thing as well. Come on. If you can at least steady it, then I can build another fire station, get another fire truck in there, and then we can sort that out. You're still just coming over here as if nothing's going on. Come on now. Here we go. Look has arrived, and the fire is... Oh, beautiful. Okay. Not about the number of trucks, it's about the number of fighters, so that's good. All right. <laughs> I was a little nervous there. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and start buying some alcohol for now. Uh, and we're going to see if we can't figure out something. Um, buy some alcohol over here for now. We're going to figure something out about alcohol production, maybe. I, I was thinking about that over the course of the... I know I asked the question out there. Uh, you know, should we try and make it self-produced alcohol? Uh, or should we just import it? What do y'all feel? I've been thinking about it, and I think I would like to try and figure out a way to produce our own alcohol properly. We, uh, again, all we really need to do is deliver crops up over here more consistently, and we should be fine. And God knows we're fine for crops in this area. We've done a pretty good job of it, so we should be fine. All right. Things are looking pretty good. Made some good progress across the board. These things are being built now as well, which is good to see. We got this uh, working a bit more smoothly over here. These are all workers coming through, I imagine. Yep. Yeah. So this is all working smoothly as originally intended, as originally desired. So that feels pretty good. Over here, do we have any tourists waiting? Yeah, it's just about the number of tourists that are coming through. Hopefully those numbers go higher and higher. We do have two planes now, which is uh, also pretty exciting. A proper, uh, a proper fleet providing a uh, hopefully not so fleeting experience for the tourists coming to our glorious nation. But folks, this is where we're going to be calling it a session. Hopefully this episode didn't feel like a fleeting experience. <laughs> but we got, I think, a fair bit done. We got quite a bit done, actually. Uh, more cars up over here as well, I believe. I think we do have uh, quite a few more cars down over here. 
hopefully soon people will start working, you know, at more spots over here. Actually, uh, oh yeah, we are, we are getting some people working down these spots. Good, good, good. You look at that, some good wakeboarding to be had over here as well. Good spots for these beaches. We'll, we'll, we'll sort this out. We're getting there, though. We're, we're getting there. We'll sort that out. We've got uh, progress down over here as well. I think this will work quite nicely. I'm excited for next session. It's going to be... Oh, look at that. Oh, I was right. Look how quickly it moves. Oh, I was right in time to catch that. That's so cool, man. That's so cool. I want to get in this, like, closing shot over here. The clouds. Well, we'll take a different angle this time. Normally, I like to try to finish at this angle so we can always compare the closing shots. You just kind of barely see it there. Sure, we'll stick to this. That's so cool. Folks, if you had a good time, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in high approach content on the channel. Y'all know the drill by now. A massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. That's for Danya.